Hey everybody, this is Franco, and this is another video about spindle control on these small Chinese uh, mini lathes and mini milling machines using the Centroid Acorn and the Centroid CNC12 software. And if you've been watching my other videos, you know that this is something I've been trying to do for a while, and I've been trying to figure it out, and I've blown some stuff up, and I've asked a lot of questions, and I've received a lot of help from you and your comments. I really appreciate it. And I finally have this working, and I want to show you what it looks like and uh, how I did it. So just a quick demonstration. So here we go. I'm going to fire off a spindle command, M3S250 in the Centroid CNC12 software. And lo and behold, the spindle is turning. So just you can focus on that spindle for a second. So I'm going to just fire off a couple of different commands for the spindle. Uh, let's go S of 300. How about S of 500? S of 800. We'll take it up to a thousand. S of 100. Now I don't have the actual speed and everything calibrated yet, but I, I'm just using this as a, an example. But the point is, we have we have spindle control on the uh, mini lathe using the Centroid Acorn controller, and of course an M5 will give you a, a complete stop. So I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked that this is working. Oh, here, M3S1000. Let me give it another command. There we go. On S500. Slow it down. S100. And then, of course, the stop, M5. Cool. So I am stoked. I got this working. And I'm going to give you a little bit of information to show you how I did it. So I'll pause the video and then I'm going to show you some things here in this control box. Okay, the first thing I want to show you, this is the inside of the control box. And this is the little uh, screw down terminal strip where the connections for this pot, this potentiometer connect. This is P1. P1 is a 12 volt reference voltage. The second screw down terminal is P2, that's the wiper, and then this one is P3, uh, and that's the ground. So the connections to the acorn are P2, the red wire is the wiper, and P3 is the ground. And so I'll, we'll pause the video for a second and I'll show you where they're going. But you want to remember the red wire is on P2, that's the wiper, and the black wire is on P3, that's the ground. All right, so here we go. This is the analog output on the acorn board. The black wire is hooked up to the common terminal, and the red wire is hooked up to the, the V out pin. So this is your, your zero to 10 volt pin, and that's the common. So it's pretty much that simple. Now here is the, here is the trick. Here's why this worked this time, and it blew up on me last time. You'll notice, there is no, there's no ground wire hooked up to the board. And you'll also notice I do not have the ground wire hooked up to the power supply. And just as a further point, the computer that I'm using is running off the battery. So there is, in this, this system right now, the only thing that is actually connected to the ground is the lathe. The acorn board is not connected to the ground. The acorn board power supply is not connected to the uh, earth ground. The, and the, the computer is running off its battery. So nothing is connected to the ground except for the lathe. And that is why this blew up on me when I tried to do it before. And it has to do with the way the control box on these, on these little machines is built. And if you read all the documentation from the CNC 4PC, uh, C6 board and all that stuff, they keep telling you about floating the ground, floating the ground. Well, 
now after burning stuff up, I really understand what that means. And also thanks to you, some of your comments and things that you told me to watch were very informative. So that's why this is working. Uh, we're basically, I guess, we're, we're floating the ground. There's no ground connection on any of these other things. Uh, just the, uh, the com I guess we would call this plus and minus the voltage, the analog out. And that's it. So that, it's working. So once again, we'll give it a command, M3, S250, cycle start. There we go. We have spindle control. And uh, S500. Fire it up. Seven fifty. All right. Well. I'm really happy. This is cool. This opens the door to a lot of different things now. And uh, once again, this is just another reason why I think this Acorn board is, is a really awesome board because it has this analog output built right into it. So I didn't have to go buy a, a second board uh, from CNC for PC to make this work. Uh, this just came as part of the Acorn board. So there you go. I hope that was informative. This kind of, I think, it's pretty close to the end of this story for me. But now that you guys have seen this, hopefully this will uh, you know, help everyone who's trying to figure out how to have spindle control on their small machines. Of course, there's relays on the Acorn board, and you probably want to use the relays to uh, control the forward or reverse direction on the spindle. Um, we'll, you know, maybe there'll be some more videos about that in the future. But for now, I'm really happy that this is working. This demonstrates the point that you can do this with this board and with this software, and uh, I'm pretty stoked. So thanks for watching, and be safe, and have fun.